Doing your eyeliner out on camera is one of the most terrifying things you can do. <sighs> It is so hot right now. All right, so welcome to my get ready with me, guys. I kicked Comey out of the room because she ran away with my highlighter and now I'm even more sweaty from chasing her. But I'm gonna start off with this by Terry Balm de Rose um, balm. And I've seen this a lot in a lot of bloggers. Uh, I've always wanted to try it out. It's just very creamy and moisturizing. It's so, so creamy. I feel like it's partially already melted almost compared to other balms. And it smells strongly of rose, which I really enjoy. Um, this is a very luxurious lip balm. It's $55. Um, but it does really nourish the skin really well. But I'm not too sure if I would ever spend my own money on this. I did get this off Octoly, which is a marketplace for content creators that aren't paying me to say this, trust me. Um, it's just where I got the product. Anyways, so I've already Wash my face, put a little bit of serum, and this is the By Perry um, Hydra Radiance Serum, I believe. Yes, um, I got a bunch of By Perry products because I've always wanted to try it. It's a French high end skincare line, and as you guys know, I love skincare. Um, this is my only nice high end serum, so I definitely adopted it into my skincare line very quickly. It smells like roses and it's very lightweight, it doesn't feel oily at all, which I really appreciate. Um, but yeah, this is, it's, it's a nice serum. I don't really have anything really amazing or bad to say about it. And I also want to talk about the By Terry Micellar Cleanser Water. Um, this works amazingly. The idea of this is that you put it on a cotton round and you do not rub, it just comes off. Um, this one's for face and eyes and also kind of just hydrates your skin. So I definitely prefer this over makeup wipes. I would recommend this, but the Garnier Micellar Water Cleanser is also really good. So I got foundation just basically because I was shooting with Tastemade and my skin was breaking out and I thought to myself, there's no way that I'm going to shoot um, on Tastemade's Snapchat channel with a bunch of acne on my face. So I caved and this is just the beauty industry capitalizing on my imperfections because I thought I needed to have perfect skin for on camera. So I got this Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation and every person that I've ever seen with amazing skin or like flawless skin, I asked them, is that your skin or are you wearing something? And everyone would tell me it's this foundation and it is awesome. It's so lightweight. I am absolutely in love with it. This is a Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. So primed my face with this baby. I use quite a bit. So I use two pumps. Is that a lot? I don't know. I feel like it's really hard to look cakey in this foundation. So you apply it with a stippling brush first, and then I'm taking a damp Real Techniques uh, Beauty Blender, and I'm just dabbing it into my skin. And I've never had the Beauty Blender, but I really do like this brush, or this sponge, and I know that it's a lot cheaper than the Beauty Blender. If you've tried both, which one do you like better? So that's pretty much it. That's my foundation routine. So I'm gonna set all of this with a By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder and I'm just gonna get a Kabuki brush. You can also do this with a um, blending sponge, the Beauty Blender, but I find that it leaves such a white cast if you pack it on, especially with something like a sponge. I apologize for the lighting, it is going in and out. It's bothering me so much. I think it's a lot of overcast today, but I just take the lid, swirl it. Oh my gosh, do you see all of the smoke? And tap it. And this setting powder is nice in the sense that it's finely milled and it doesn't feel like anything on your skin. It just feels quite nice and airy, but it leaves an incredibly white cast um, if you use too much or even just like an average amount. And when your skin starts to sweat or melt, um, it melts off white. Um, so I wouldn't really recommend this. And for the price, I'm not too sure how I feel about it, but I think the idea is that you're not supposed to use all that much. It's also a very messy. Whew, whew. I picked up this Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette and I specifically picked it up for this beautifully um, burnt sienna kind of copper orange color. I love it so much, I can't explain it. So I'm going to just take this base color right here and I'm going to apply this all over my lid with a brush. 
I am finally using a brush guys and I'm actually using this beautiful 15 piece set from Van Van Vanity from Vanity Planet it's cruelty free it's all synthetic brushes um, I've been using this for over probably two months and I absolutely love it it doesn't shed on the face as you can tell I've been using it and nothing has shed um, and the bristles stay strong even when you wash them it's just really good quality for what it is and I like the birch wood handles right here it just kind of gives that very all natural effect it matches with my tree <laughs> or not my tree my plant I am working with them on this video you can get this entire brush set for only $30 with my coupon code which is down below um, that means it's two dollars a piece which is cheaper than elf brushes and I love elf brushes and I love these brushes as well so you guys should check it out it's super easily stored if I feel like this is a great set for someone who's very beginner like me someone who doesn't really use you know foundation um, or is like a makeup buff it's just really handy and you can totally try with this which is something I really like they feel really nice on the skin it comes with powder brushes a foundation brush highlighter brush contour brush um, concealer brushes and even this awesome lip brush with a cap it'll it'll pop off like this apply this all over my lid this brown or this orange coppery color next using a clean brush I'm just gonna blend all of that out so next I'm taking this big brush and I'm going to get some of this brown and I'm going to put this and just kind of contour my eyes. So I'm reading this book called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle which is a guide to spiritual enlightenment and um, there was this part that I read that said that I wanted to share with you guys because I thought it was um, worth sharing when we're talking in our minds and forgive me if this is not as eloquent as he put it but when we're talking in our minds uh, when we're listening to that evil voice in the head when we're listening to that kind of negative voice in our head it's always dwelling in the past or either the future so for example it was like last year I was so much more fit I was much more hardworking or in the future I really hope that I'll be making more money I hope that I'll find the love of my life etc that kind of just bring you down and what he was saying is that if you take away <clears throat> if you take away um, the humans on this planet and we just have animals and plants oh my gosh this is so hard to do if you take away all the humans on this planet and you just have trees animals um just living things but no humans there really is no past or present the only moment that ever exists is now the current moment so if it weren't for humans there are really no past or present it's the only moment that you can ever have is now and I think that really resonated with me because I never thought about it like that um, so oftentimes when we're thinking so negatively it's either dwelling in the past or thinking or projecting towards the future but all you ever really truly have is this current moment and I think by harnessing that power of now just like thinking that this is the only moment I will ever get you can be a little bit more grateful for what you have rather than looking back you know 20 years from now thinking oh that was so much fun because I feel like it's my own problem is that I'm constantly always looking back and being like oh that was such a good time like why didn't I enjoy it when I was having that time if, if that makes any sense so because I find that that's a huge problem with me is that I'm always constantly thinking about the past and thinking about what a great time it was but not actually enjoying it at the time so it's almost like in retrospect I really you know appreciate it, but at the time I didn't but why couldn't I have just appreciated it in the moment it just really resonated with me because it's so true there is only one time in life really it is the present currently right now as I'm sitting and talking with you there really doesn't exist a past or a future it's just only now and yeah I think for me that will kind of just help me harness my appreciation for the present and it will help me to be more self-aware about my negative thoughts and how I'm always dwelling in the past or projecting towards the future anyways so I thought that was cool and I wanted to share with you guys I haven't finished the book um, but I will let you know when I have I blend it out blend blend kind of looks like I have two bruised black eyes which is is definitely what I'm going for. Blend, blend, blend. I take my Charlotte Tilbury quad and I'm gonna use this one to highlight. I'm gonna take the Vanity Planet brush and just highlight underneath the brow bone. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna put a little bit on the inner corner. 
Can you even see all the hard work I'm doing? Huh? Huh? I am sweating so much. I'm just gonna try and get closer so you can see all the hard work that I'm doing. Oh. I'm gonna take this pure bronzing palette, which is huge and super pigmented. Um, I really like it a lot. It's got half, um, I think, matte and then half shimmer. It's huge, it's the size of my face. I'm gonna take just a little bit of this and then apply this to the center of my lid. Then I'm taking the Kat Von D tattoo liner and I find that this one lasts a lot longer than that Etude House one which is quite unfortunate so I'm sorry if I told you to buy that one. Doing your eyeliner out on camera is one of the most terrifying things you can do. Ah! I was holding my breath for that wing. This next product I'm really excited about. This is the Cho Chosunga, the Chosunga, Chosunga. I don't know. Um, brow, brow. It's basically a boy brow, but it's Korean, and this is in the gray brown color, which I actually really like this color a lot. It comes out like a tinted, um, grayish, cool tone brown. Super lightweight. Thickens, straightens. And this is a Korean brand, and I just saw this in Sephora. I recently just got my eyebrows started, so I've been wearing them without any product because they look good even without product, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I love this product. You can go get this at Sephora. Looks like this. Looks like this. Looks like a highlighter. I kind of really love the packaging. I think it's so cute. I got this in the mail recently, and this is Lash Food Conditioning Drama Mascara. Um, and I think it's supposed to help your lashes grow longer and fuller. <laughs> so hot. I feel like all my makeup looks look the same. I'm sorry. Monolid problems. <laughs> Alright, um, then I'm taking the It's Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. And I love this mascara. It is bomb.com. I never say that. Who says bomb.com? Gosh, I look like a different person with... Mascara on. So my eyes are pretty much done. So I'm gonna take the pure matte side and with this contour brush, I'm just gonna contour in a three motion. It gives you a really nice glow. Then I'm just gonna take a huge fluffy brush and blend that all out. I'm actually gonna take the Glossy Rose Quartz and in a C motion, I'm gonna apply that and just highlight the crap out of my face. I know, Komi! I'm to pick a lip color now. Safe Word Matte by Smashbox. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have to now let Komi in because she's freaking out. If you guys need to reach me, I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Amy Vagabond with two Ds. And I'll see you guys next time. It's so hard. <laughs> Bye!